In this video, we'll go through an example of naming an alkane given its full structural formula. Make sure you have read and understood the rules for naming alkanes before you go through this. We're asked to determine the UPAC name for this compound and we're told it's an alkane. We also know this because there are no double or triple bonds between the carbon atoms. We start by finding the longest continuous chain of carbon atoms. If we select this as the chain, you'll notice if you count the carbon atoms that it has eight carbon atoms in it. But going back to this point, if we take a sharp turn downward instead of going to the right, we get this continuous chain, which if you count the carbon atoms, you'll see it has nine carbons this time. If we go back for a second and look at this point here, you can see it doesn't matter if we go to the left or if we go straight down. Either way, we get one CH3 group attached to this carbon atom over and above the carbons in the chain. So since it's simpler to go straight down with the chain, we'll do that. The name of this compound will end with the alkane that has nine carbons. And that is nonane, so the name will end with nonane, which we'll write here, leaving lots of room in front of it for the rest of the name. Looking closely, we see that there are five groups other than hydrogen attached to this chain. At this point, we have to find the best way to number the carbon atoms in the chain. Let's try numbering the carbons starting on the left, like this. The name will contain the numbers of the carbon atoms that have groups attached to them. You can see that in this case, carbons 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 have groups attached to them. Remember, we don't count hydrogen as a group. So the name would contain the set of numbers 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now we'll try counting starting with the carbon atom on the bottom right, like this. So this time, if you look closely, you'll see that the groups are attached to carbons 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So the name will contain the numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. The UPAC rule is we must number the carbons in the chain in a way that gives the lowest possible combination of numbers in the name. And 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 is a lower combination than 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So this way of numbering the carbon atoms is correct. So now we need to look at the groups attached to this chain and add them to the name of the compound. CH3 is called a methyl group. CH2CH3 or C2H5 is called an ethyl group. And we also have three chloral groups attached to this chain. The compound name must contain the names of the groups in alphabetical order where prefixes like di and tri are not counted. In naming alkanes, it's always easiest to start at the end and work toward the beginning. We already have the end of the name, nonane. In alphabetical order, the names of the groups are chloro, ethyl, and lastly methyl. So methyl would come last in the name. This is the methyl group. So we'll write methyl here. Notice there is no space or hyphen between methyl and nonane. It's all one word. Now we also must specify which carbon atom on the chain this methyl group is attached to. And we see that it's attached to carbon number two. So we write a two and a dash in front of the methyl, like this. The next group we need to add to the name is this one, the ethyl group. So we add the word ethyl here. All numbers between words in a name have dashes on both sides, which you can see we've done with the two in this case. Now the ethyl group is attached to carbon number four in the chain. So we add a four and a dash here in front of the ethyl. The group we add now, the one that comes first in the alphabet, is chloral. So we write chloral and a dash here in the name. But notice we have three chloral groups we must add a prefix in front of the chloro to indicate the number of chloro groups. The prefix for three is tri. So we add the prefix tri here. Again, there is no dash. Trichloral is all one word. 
Also remember the prefixes are not counted in the alphabetical ordering of the groups. Now we also need to specify which carbon atoms these three chloral groups are attached to. We need a number to identify the position of each of the chloral groups. So we need three numbers. Looking closely at the structure, we see that the chlorals are attached to carbons 3, 5, and 6 on the chain. So we write 3, 5, 6 and a dash in front of the trichloral. Note the numbers are written from lowest to highest when there's a group like this, and there's commas between them all. Again, the numbers are separated from the words with a dash. Since there's nothing else to add, these numbers are at the beginning of the name, so there's no dash in front of them. We can check to see that the names of the groups, not counting the prefix tri, are in alphabetical order. C comes before E, which comes before M. So the final name for this alkane is 3,5,6-trichloro-4-ethyl-2-methylnonane. It would be a good idea now for you to go through these rules and justify to yourself that this is the correct UPAC name for this compound.